Black Watch is coming back again for lots of reasons. The main reason being that people want to see it and they haven't and they need an opportunity to do that. There is an audience for it. There was a massive appetite from abroad still for it to tour internationally. And we produced a brilliant education pack at the end of the last tour that was given to every high school in Scotland. And it's gone down really, really well. Um, but all those kids have never seen the actual live show. So. A fresh cast of 10 is, is, uh, is a fresh start for everybody in lots of ways. And it means that we go back to the origins of why we made the work in the way that we did. So you have to, you have to substantiate the process in a way that you kind of shortcut that if there's only a few people that are new in the company. So you're held to account for the choices you've made if you're with a completely new cast of people. So it's good. It makes you kind of re-examine what you did. We did a, a big, long audition process to get a whole new cast for this version of the show, which was time well spent because it meant we, we could get people that suited the characters really well and also people that had the range of skills that we need to do a show like Blackwatch. We know exactly, uh, obviously, what, what's required, so which particular parts need a stronger emphasis on movement, like Fraz and Kenzie, for example, need to be amazing singers because those two characters sing, um, sing quite a lot through it and they move quite a lot through it. My fear was that I might start remembering the way that old actors used to do it and kind of try and impose that in some way on these guys. But actually, I, it's very quickly you forget about that and you just see the actor that's inhabiting this role now and you kind of go, right, it's, okay, this is it. And it's, it's much more exciting. It's always exciting. Any piece of your work that gets a new kind of lease of life is always exciting. And it's always good to have new actors in it and always good to have... Uh, um, to work again with John and Stephen Hoggett and Davy Anderson, but um, yeah, it's very exciting. I, I love my work being done. You know, that's the whole point of it. It's a topical piece. It was a piece which was about a particular news event, a particular um, time in, in history. The history that we're sitting in is still resonating very directly with us as a country and how people feel about um, politics. It's never going to be that exact moment in history again. Um, and there's something special about doing a show about that particular hot potato topic at that moment in time. I spoke recently to some soldiers who were in Afghanistan with Iraq, with the Black Watch, and none of them had been in Iraq, none of them had been in Iraq at all. So um, for the regiment, you know, the regiment now will be full of guys who, who weren't really in Iraq and, and you know, who have only known Afghanistan as a, as a battlefield um, or as a, a war zone. So, but I mean, the job's the same. It's like, you know, you know, only the kit changes. That's what soldiers tell you. The job's always the same. It's just the kit that changes. So, um, yeah, I think it's still relevant. We're still there. We're still in Afghanistan. We're still fighting, you know. It's um, sadly, and you know, still losing soldiers. So, yeah, it's still relevant. And we don't really think about it very deeply at all. But kind of coming a a along to see a show like this means you kind of get to meditate on it for a couple of hours and be told a story about it and then kind of go away and think about what your feelings are towards it as well, whether you're the mother of a soldier who's out in Afghanistan, whether you're somebody who's thinking about joining up yourself or whether you've been to Iraq or Afghanistan and have come back and are experiencing some of the things that the characters in the play are experiencing. Um, that, that, that topic is still there um, and it's as urgent now as it was back in 2006 when this first went on and I think it will be for a few years to come. It's definitely, it's definitely easier in terms of having a show where, in a sense, everybody knows what they're doing before they come in on day one of rehearsal. Um, most of the time you come into rehearsal and a big part of the job is creating new stuff. But it'll be interesting once it opens and once we see it on stage whether, you know, whether some, some of the, uh, the, the old kind of... I mean, obviously, there's certain things that are going to look very similar. And uh, it just it's the actors that have the difficult part of kind of differentiating the characters. You know, it's not really, it's not really anything to do with me anymore. It's just about trying to make that um, that old stuff kind of have new life to breathe again with the new cast, basically. It's not difficult for us, on, on, on that side of the table anyway. No, it's, it's a pleasure. An absolute honour to be asked to tour the world and be an ambassador for your, for, for your country's uh, theatre, for your country's art, and to take a piece of, you know, work around the, around the world that's got brilliant actors in it that's written by a fantastic writer that's got geniuses like Davy Anderson and Stephen Hoggart's work in it and you go this is Scotland's art